Watch Mitchell Dillman Steel and Woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. And find Colorado Rockin' Logs at Platt Furniture, Colorado Springs' new and used furniture. It's springtime in the Rockies, and we're getting geared up for our summer show, starting with Territory Days, the 28th, 29th, 30th of May. We've been out there milling all winter long, blowing out all sorts of saw blades. We've saved those up, we've come up with a really cool way to use up some of these blades. Combined with some of the sign work we've been doing over there on our CNC machine. Let's spend the next few minutes, and I'll show you how we're using up a lot of this leftover stuff come up with these Colorado themed art pieces. So we've been busy making a bunch of these small items. These little decorative boxes, little decorative pieces, using the wildfire wood of course. Because let's face it, we found that folks just don't like to carry a big heavy log bench at a hot summer art festival. So this is what's called a Beverly shear. It's designed to shear light gauge metal. It's much more efficient than these. It's what we've got set up to start cutting this. So really all we're doing here is counting the teeth for each leaf. You can see we've got two, two teeth on the small, four on the next one up, and so on. So we'll just set up over here and do the same thing, count out our teeth. Make a cut. All right, so we've got a stack of these cut. Now we're just gonna start welding them together. It's pretty simple, really. Gonna need this. And we're just lining these up so the teeth are running in the same direction. And that's all it takes, just one quick bead right down the side. So we've got, for the stem, we're just using this eighth inch rod. It's just eighth inch steel rod. I've taken time to put a little bend in it. That's all we need. And then we're just gonna put them where we want them, hold them in place. And we want to keep room, leave room right in here to, to bring that up in there last. So once we've done all that, in order to mount it to the sign, it's pretty simple. We've taken time to weld a little screw and nut on the back of it. So let's do that real quick. And that's really all we need. And that will give us a place to mount it to any, any wooden sign. Of course, we're gonna have some that just hang, that you'll be able to just hang from the wall. So we've welded the top, you can just hang them right there. And that is how we mount a blunt blade. What do you think? So that's it, that's how we make our Colorado Blunt Blades, complete with these custom made CNC signs. If you'd like to see these online, I'm gonna have them over at mitchelldillman.com. We'll have the ones with signs, we'll even have some separate like this. Go check them out. And remember, we're also making custom signs, full wildfire mantles, and any kind of log furniture you can imagine. So be sure to come see me for custom orders, get a hold of me, shoot me an email, click subscribe now, and come back the same time next week for more videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you then.